To have a successful experience with cooperative learning, a teacher really needs to be aware, to be moving among the groups, to be sure people are doing their job. It helps for students to have an assigned task, to have their own little place in the group. Uh, I don't think a group should have more than four people because often that means that one or two are sitting off to the side doing nothing. And hopefully you're exploiting the talents. That kid in class who likes to draw and really doesn't care much about reading, I always like to let them be the illustrator to give them their chance to shine. The kid who can't stop talking, they get their chance to present. So I like to really exploit the students' talents through cooperative learning.